Hey guys, I'm here to do a review for you on a product by the makers of the EcoGel family. So I used the medicated foaming cleanser on my braids as well as the medicated leave-in conditioner and I felt that both left my hair very clean didn't leave any type of residue and my scalp didn't feel itchy anymore. Something I used in between washes was the medicated in between spray shampoo and this says that it's an all natural spray shampoo ideal for use in between regular shampooing to freshen your braids, locks, or twists. And so you spritz this on your hair. I did dampen my hair just a little bit while I was in the shower. I literally just like ran the shower head across it a couple times just to hopefully kind of rinse out any loose dirt or particles in my hair. Then I used this and just blotted it with a towel. So I like this also because it took the itch away immediately. From working out, my hair was pretty itchy and um, it didn't smell bad. You know, you can smell your hair when it starts to smell bad. I won't say that it smelled bad, but it did just feel very itchy. But this helped with that. Between these two products, which are both a type of oil, I didn't see a purpose for the medicated Glam Gloss. It says on the back that it's a luxurious blend of natural oils and extracts, conditions and provides a glamorous high gloss, perfect for braids, locks, and twists. But this is also a special blend of seven natural oils. And let's see, it says it absorbs easily into the hair shaft providing hair detangling, sealing benefits, and so on. I think these two should probably be combined. I didn't see a reason to have two different oils, basically. So for that reason, I never got around to trying this one. I did use this oil every once in a while, and it wasn't too oily. You know how sometimes you use an oil, and you just feel like you have oil just all over the place. Your scalp is all shiny. It didn't do that. So the absorbing into the hair shaft part probably is true. After I washed my braids, it's a habit for me to wash my extensions and then put a gel on it before just kind of tying it down to at least lay down the fuzzy parts. And you can see how fuzzy it is right now. So I washed it about a week and a half ago. I'm actually going to take them down today. I've only had them for about three weeks, but I mean, I, I can do my own hair. Not braids, but I can do my own natural hair. So I just kind of wanted this to give me a short break so I don't feel bad taking it out too quick. What I will say about this, the first day I used it, it was fine. It laid down some of my frizzy hair, but then it started to leave a residue. I will try this just on my own natural hair and see how I like it. Perhaps it'll be like, um, what's that gel? Jam? Because it's, it's hard. It's not a... I'm like barely getting any on my finger. It's not a gel like the Eco Gel. It's more together. I don't even know how to word it, but if you've ever used jam, then you know what I mean. It's that kind of gel. Like it's not going to come out just from me shaking it. More like a jello, if you will. So overall, I definitely will hold on to the shampoo, the conditioner and the medicated in-between spray shampoos. I like those. I can probably just use these oils just on my hair on a regular basis if necessary. And then the gel more than likely I could do without. I did want to try and braid some of these individually with this gel. Um, but I just didn't get around to trying that. So maybe that's what you should try is if you get extensions, try using this instead of the jam that we sometimes use. So I hope that helped. Oh, and I always talk to you guys about the scent because I have such a sensitive nose. It's a real light scent. Some of these products have um, eucalyptus in it and camphor. 
Like this has eucalyptus and camphor, but even that was not a lasting scent. Some people may like the lasting scent, but the lasting scent makes me sneeze. So I prefer that it not last too long. Thanks so much for watching this quick review. And if you tried the product, let me know how you like it. Bye.